Kamala Harris's stepdaughter, Ella Emhoff, nearly stole the show with her quirky coat at the 2021 inauguration, leaving everyone desperate to know more about the new second daughter. Here's what we know about the eye-catching Ella Emhoff. As the stepdaughter to Kamala Harris, there's no question that Ella Emhoff is around politicians and political debates all the time. As it turns out, politics is nothing new for her. In an interview with The New York Times, Emhoff revealed that she and her brother were raised in a very political household. She told The Times, Cole and I grew up having knowledge of politics. When Proposition 8 was happening in California, which would have banned same-sex marriage in the state, we were really active in that. It sounds like Emhoff is used to discussing politics around the dinner table at the very least. However, she did confess that since Harris took on her new role as vice president to President Joe Biden, things have changed, Emhoff said. Now this is like, we're really in it. We're learning the behind the scenes. We're learning policy. By the sound of things, Emhoff will have plenty of chances to become even more politically engaged and aware. Hi, I made it. You made it. it. One thing's for sure, the Emhoff household is not exactly an easygoing one. Apparently, with Kamala Harris as your stepmom, there's a lot of pressure to succeed. Even Doug Emhoff sounds like a pretty tough parent. As Ella Emhoff explained to The Times, We always joke that whenever we bring our friends over for the first time, they're going to get grilled. Like, if you don't have your 10-year plan, like, fully ready and outlined in a spreadsheet for them, you're not going to survive that meal. Her brother Cole chimed in, adding that their parents, quote, don't do well with small talk. Ella Emhoff was around eight years old when her father split from her mother, Kirsten. While the divorce was undoubtedly difficult for her and her brother, it also gave them the chance to bond with their dad. Her brother Cole told The Times, There was like a period of I don't know how many years when we called ourselves the Palazzo Crew because when Doug moved out, he moved into this apartment complex called the Palazzo. Oh yeah, Ella and Cole apparently have always called their father Doug. Ella went on to explain that the breakup forced them to figure out a new dynamic, as she put it. It definitely for the three of us was really bonding. I think it is a good model to show that you can have this and this isn't weird. It really does sound like this modern family has it all figured out. Ella Emhoff loves dogs. One look at her Instagram page is enough to tell you that. In one photo, she showed off her adorable pooch wrapped up in a blue towel and wrote, hashtag man crush every day. In another photo, she posted a super cute photo of another dog asleep on a sofa and wrote just baby Alfie. Another photo shows a dog Emma calls King Louie. She even knit a hat with long ears and called it a dog bunny hat. And she has saved stories on Instagram dedicated solely to dog pictures. We can't tell how many dogs Emhoff has of her own, but it's clear this girl loves each and every dog she comes across. In fact, as Emhoff told Garage, she even did her own tattoo of her dog's name. She's a real dog fanatic. Even though Ella Emhoff has admitted that Kamala Harris can be pretty intense as a stepmom, it's clear that the pair have an excellent relationship. In 2019, Harris wrote an essay for Elle magazine about her two stepkids. As Harris recalled, she had been nervous to meet Doug Emhoff's kids at first. She wrote, Cole and Ella could not have been more welcoming. They are brilliant, talented, funny kids who have grown to be remarkable adults. I was already hooked on Doug, but I believe it was Cole and Ella who reeled me in. Over time, their relationship got closer and closer. Ella and Cole Emhoff decided to call Harris Mamala, a play on Kamala, rather than the more rigid stepmom. Harris also explained that the whole family comes together for Sunday dinner. It's clear that Harris really has become another mother figure for the siblings. Harris wrote in her essay, They are my endless source of love and pure joy. Vice President will be great, but Mamala will always be the one that means the most. As of 2021, Ella Emhoff is studying art at Parsons School of Design in New York, and according to Refinery29, she lives in Bushwick. While she may have been catapulted to fame when her stepmother became the vice president of the United States, day to day she is just a young artist coming into her own. Emhoff spoke with Garage about her work in November 2020. At the time, she was busy with her thesis project, a quote, patchwork jacket that includes a lot of different knitting and textile techniques and a lot of different script from old diaries. Apparently, Apparently, the jacket will be a reflection of her childhood, inspired by old cartoons. As for the future, she hopes to sell her items. Describing her dreams of setting up a shop and selling pre-made and custom-made knitted items, she said, I think the goal is definitely to have my own knitwear brand, label, whatever you call it. In fact, those dreams are already becoming a reality. Her Instagram page is filled with her colorful creations, and she's even taking commissions from a few customers. 
Let's face it, plenty of Americans didn't exactly take kindly to the guidelines and rules surrounding the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. In fact, there was a fierce debate about the virus, especially when it came to mask wearing. Kamala Harris was clear on her views that masks should be worn. In fact, she even pushed for them to be made free of charge. Her stepdaughter Ella followed in her footsteps and openly stated her pro-mask beliefs. In July of 2020, Emhoff took to Instagram. She posted a selfie wearing a gorgeous, frilled floral mask and wrote, As California begins shutting down again, it's vital that everyone wears a mask. She went on to ask her followers to take note of friends who didn't wear masks and, quote, call them out, even if it's uncomfortable. At the end of her powerful plea, she summed things up, I'm sorry, but your slight discomfort is not more important than thousands of lives. As Cole Emhoff explained to The New York Times, he became very close with his sister and father in the period after his father's divorce. By the looks of things, Ella and Cole are still just as close as ever. In 2015, she posted an Instagram photo of her brother for his 21st birthday, writing, I can't wait to see you with heart emojis. In 2017, she posted for his birthday again, this time writing, Easily the coolest brother and bestest friend. I love and miss you a lot. How sweet! And while Cole doesn't have many photos on his Instagram page, he did post a series of behind-the-scenes videos of Ella at the 2021 inauguration. Ella M. Hoff's Instagram page shows off her colorful, funky artwork and her bohemian Brooklyn lifestyle. A quick glance at her photos will tell you that she has quite a few tattoos. As Ella revealed to the New York Times, her mother, Kirsten, actually found out about her first tattoo through an Instagram picture. Needless to say, she was pretty shocked. When asked about the incident, M. Hoff said, Oh my god, okay, well, when it comes to stuff like that, I think they all have conflicting ideas, and all of their ideas are like Ella, so I don't tell them. Sounds like Emhoff's lifestyle doesn't quite align with those of her parents. As her brother joked, Ella just banks on wearing long sleeves when she needs to. In her interview with Garage, Emhoff actually revealed that she got really into tattoos during the COVID-19 pandemic. She's even done some of her own tattoos. She told the site, It's super fun. I don't think it's something I would ever want to pursue professionally, but it's fun to just do it to yourself or do it to a friend. One of the issues Ella M. Hoff proudly supports online is trans rights. In a few Instagram posts in 2020, M. Hoff announced that she would support the organization For the Gwirls by holding a raffle, with winners receiving a pair of handmade knit pants she'd crafted. For the Gwirls is a, quote, black trans-led collective that curates parties to fundraise money to help black transgender people pay for their rent, gender-affirming surgeries, smaller co-pays for medicines, doctor's visits, and travel assistance. As the artist explained in her raffle post, the organization is hugely important to her. She wrote, They are doing really beautiful work and are currently seeking more funds to help them shorten their assistance wait time. While Ella M. Hoff seems to be well on her way to becoming a professional knitwear artist, she may also have another career in her future, modeling. According to her Instagram page, she is currently represented by Joseph Charles Viola. Apparently, Viola is a stylist, casting director, scout, mother agent, photographer, and producer. In 2021, Viola posted an image of M. Hoff at the inauguration, explaining that he met M. Hoff in 2019, writing, I didn't represent more than one or two women at the time because what I was scouting for was so specific. He went on to describe how Ella had the exact energy he was after, charismatic, charming, creative, but most importantly, unapologetically herself. While you may have heard of Ella M. Hoff before the inauguration, she definitely popped up on your radar after the big day. The second daughter almost instantly went viral online after viewers noticed her phenomenal coat. The coat in question was by Miu Miu and featured a fitted waist, a checked pattern, a large white collar, and most importantly, a sea of golden sequins on the shoulders. As Glamour noted, M. Hoff's look made quite the stir. In fact, it basically stole the show. Twitter was sent into a frenzy when users saw the coat. One user wrote, as an artsy teen, I feel the need to note how much Ella M. Hoff's representation means to us. Another commented on other aspects of her look, writing, Everyone's talking about Ella M. Hoff's sparkly coat, but can I just say how nice it is to see Jewish curls in their natural, if slightly, windblown state in a town of near-universal blow-drying and hair ironing? Yet another wrote, It bothered me that Ivanka had a fashion line, and it will bother me more if Ella M. Hoff doesn't. 
Ella M. Hoff became a viral sensation after appearing at the 2021 inauguration thanks to her killer coat. However, it turns out she was wearing another incredible piece underneath. She spoke to Vogue about how she worked with the designer Betsheva Hay to create the iconic dress she wore to the event, a retro maxi red prairie dress with long puffed sleeves. M. Hoff explained that she had a pretty good idea of what she wanted, telling the magazine, My mood board was very little girl, in a sense, a lot of scalloped collars and big silhouettes wet shoulders and small buttons, this momentous of an event deserves a momentous outfit." Hay went on to note that Emhoff's style was bound to make a huge stir in Washington. However, it sounds like we can expect some exciting fashions out of the Biden administration. As Emhoff said, "...amongst Dr. Biden and Kamala and Kamala's niece Mina and me, though, I guess there's kind of some anticipation about what we're going to put out there in terms of fashion." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about the latest hot topics are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.